This is Coogan Cassius for I from London. We're at York Hall for the Miranda Carter Show. Um, with me, I've got the Miranda Carter. You're the real Miranda Carter. I am the real Miranda Carter. <laughs> um, obviously, everyone saw you on ringside recently, and you sort of. I mean, we know about what you've been doing anyway, and a lot of people in boxing know, but you brought your small hall shows to the wider audience so people are aware of what you're doing. So these shows are packed out, plenty of atmosphere, and uh, you're, you know, striving to obviously just. For the good of boxing and obviously for the for your promotional stable left jab. Yeah, I love the old small hall shows. I like four by threes, I like six by threes, I've got into six by twos, I like those sort of sharp, snappy sort of bouts, and I deal a lot with kind of young guys that are just coming on in their first sort of one to ten fights maybe. I mean, um Two of the fighters, like I said, you mentioned the ringside, Erin Arif and Matt McCarthy were in action tonight. Uh, tonight, today, let's take some getting used to. Uh, how did you think they performed the uh, Matt McCarthy points win over Danny Donchev and uh, uh, another win for Erin Arif as well? I was really pleased because I thought those were really kind of testing, um, developing fights. Um, Erin found, I think, a bit of difficulty in the first two, but then, wow, he sort of banged back for the last two rounds. Um, and Matt was finding Danny very difficult. But, you know, Danny's been around a long time and he knows all the tricks of the trade. So he's a really difficult man to box. I mean, this show, how many, how many fights do you have on? About 10 or 11 today? Oh, 10 or 11 today, yeah. yes. That, that's quite a lot for me. I mean, I've gone down to as few as five fights and, and had a good show. Uh, but I really like having a lot of guys in and on and a lot of their supporters come along. And sometimes they stay in behind to see other people as well, and that's good. Long term, Miranda, what's, what's the plan for Left Jab? Where would you sort of like to be, say, this time in 18 months, if you could have your pick of where you want to be? Do you know, I really just only ever wanted to be a kind of successful small hole promoter. But now I would like to do more. I kind of look at television and think I'd like to get my guys the kind of exposure. But I'm really not sure how that would pan out because I am really happy to put on really good shows that people really enjoy and people really get to understand what boxing is like and what a great sport it is. Do you know, um, the promoter show, like I said, I keep referring to it because it was quite interesting to see, like, Eddie Hearns the, at the top of the scale with his Sky deal and Dave Caldwell sort of trying to tr try new things with his yeah, Caldwell app stuff. and stuff. Mm. So it, it was a good blend of where every, everyone is, but it's, you know, where you could always... Uh, it's interesting to say you ring one of them up if you wanted advice or anything, which is quite interesting to know. But it was quite an interesting show because at the end of the day, we're all operating, as you say, on different levels, but basically we want two things. We want to put on good shows and we want people either to come or to watch it on telly. And basically that's what any promoter wants. Once, I think. Do you need a heavyweight? Do I need a heavyweight? <laughs> well, we had quite a heavyweight on the show today. Are you offering? Yes. <laughs> uh, Spencer Fearon's, uh, I think his name was Honda, was it Honda? I don't reckon Honda, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he no, I don't, I don't think I fancy yeah, against him. <laughs> I don't think I fancy against him. Um, when can you tell us about when, when the next show is, Miranda? My next show is actually I'm going down to Grey's in Essex. Uh, Matt McCarthy is an Essex boy, and so I thought he wants to fight in Essex on doing a Saturday night in Essex in May, on May the 18th. Uh, but then I'm back to my uh, beloved York Hall on a Sunday afternoon, September the 22nd. Well, Grey's is exactly nine miles away from my house, so if I'm not there, there, there would be a good reason if I wasn't there. <laughs> There will be a ticket on the door for you. I hope you come. Yes. Um, obviously, we've been to a couple of your shows before, but we've never... Because I come here last time, I'll be honest with you, I couldn't... I didn't know where you was. It's weird, because I did look for you a couple of times and didn't know where you was. As funny as that sounds, so we didn't get to interview then. That sounds really made up, but it's not. It's just, it's just the way it panned out. But... Um, now, obviously, you know where we are and we know you are. You know, we'll come and do and more of your shows. I'm a hands-on promoter. I was checking out the fact that the lights weren't working in the ladies' lavatory. I was paying people out. I was checking out how my front desk was doing. I was checking out the filming. <laughs> I, I don't always sit ringside all the time. I'm pretty hands-on. All right, and well, listen, Miranda, thank you very much for talking to iFilm London. And listen, we look forward to your next show in Grace. Thanks ever so much. Thank you for coming, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Coogan Cassius with Miranda Carter here for iFilm London. Thank you very much.